11 minute two mile. <sighs> Good morning guys. Today we're here at my home gym and I'm super excited to be taking you through my training program for what I do to prepare for a race. I'm gonna go through everything from my cardio exercises, arms, core, legs, why it's important to train each of these things and like specific muscles. So one thing before we get started, hydration is extremely important and I've already gone ahead and made my pre-workout and had half of it and I'm cracked out of my mind. So I'm ready, let's go. <laughs> Okay, we're good. Rotate between three types of cardio, that being elliptical, bike, or rowing machine. And this all helps train my cardiovascular endurance, which is very good for endurance racing specifically, but also sprint races where it's like extremely hot and you need to manage all the heat. It can get up to, let's say, 130 degrees in the cockpit, Fahrenheit. I know I'm a Celsius girl, but <laughs> that's what we measure it in. Um, so this is a very, very important to help you stay focused during the course of your race, whether that be from an hour all the way up to two hours and multiple stints. And what I typically do is probably 30 minutes or a 5K run. Um, on the bike, it's about eight miles. And on the rowing machine, I'll go for maybe like 15, 20 minutes. But rowing machine is my least favorite thing to do. Um, it's super, super high intensity, but it definitely works out like everything from arms all the way down to your legs. So it's a really good workout. So the reason why I do elliptical instead of treadmill is because I had shin splints earlier in my career and it was actually impacting the way that I braked in the car. So I decided to switch to like a low impact cardio schedule. So no jumping, <laughs> no running unfortunately anymore. Um, but this really helps if you have those kinds of issues and you need a solution to that. Okay, we're done. We're done cardio. Oh, I'm catching my breath. Forgot to mention, working on cardio really helps you train your breathing. So when you're feeling like overwhelmed or feeling like you're literally wheezing and you're dying, <laughs> you're gonna learn a better way to breathe or you gotta learn a better way to breathe. And the way that I calm myself down during races is during the straights. I'll remember to like take a deep breath in, it's kind of stomach breathing, like loosen my hands and that's how I get back into the zone. Okay, next we're gonna grab these five pound weights. This is to train more specifically the muscles here. Um, it's kind of hard to train it if you're not driving. You'll feel it when you go karting. If you go like, not your typical K1 karts, but like actual like 125cc karts, the next day you literally, you're gonna be so sore in this area. So this exercise helps out with that. And all you're gonna do is do this. One, two, three, four, five, and then put it back down. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. We really start to feel it. Um, so core is obviously very important for race car driving. I mean, you use it in any everything. Um, helps you stabilize when you're going through the corners. You're yeah, you're keeping your core tight every time you turn, basically. And for pit stops as well. Again, driver changes, getting in out of the car. It's very, very important, so don't skip core day. <laughs> Back to bicycle. Break time. <laughs> I 
I'm incredibly inflexible. But something that did help me with my shin splints is doing like calf stretches. <laughs> the first time my physio tried to like help me fix my shin splints, they were like, why are your calves so fucking tight? <laughs> Rule of thumb, oh you need to stretch for at least 30 seconds per stretch, okay? Oh, perfect time during stretch time. Hello, hello. So I think it's called European Ladies GT Championship in 24 hour series. Last year we only, so we did, we were the first team to win with the M4 GT3 in the world at the 12 hour Mugello. I think they have that point. They also have first woman to poll and win in for a challenge North America Pirelli class. They have that. Yeah, that's 22. What you're gonna wanna do is find basically an incline surface and you just lean forward and you'll feel the stretch on the back of your calf. I have exercise induced asthma, so <laughs> it's not fun. But we're gonna start with some tricep um, machine. What's it called? We're gonna start with a tricep press. I don't know the names of these machines. So I'm gonna start with 70 and I just go till failure. Can I do one more? I think I'm gonna do one more. <laughs> oh, I stood up too fast. I'm still catching my breath. I'm an asthma girly. <laughs> This machine basically works out all of these muscle groups, so it just serves a plethora of good uses for race car driving, such as pit stops for when you're doing a driver change and you literally have to hold onto the roll cage and hoist yourself in there as fast as possible. Um, helps being tiny, but um, this is super, super good. And again, keep your core tight. And again, until failure, <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> They're gonna be jelly tomorrow. I know it. But that's a good thing. Okay. On to the next. You can get up to 90 psi of brake pressure during a stint. I mean, many times you're gonna get to 90 pounds of pressure. So what I do to train those muscles is leg press. And we're gonna start off with, I'm starting off with 170 pounds. But lining it up, and again, make sure not to overextend because it's easy to injure yourself on this machine. You grab here and push. And go all the way down. Do three sets of this and go till failure each time until you literally cannot push yourself. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm in pain. <laughs> and that's the workout for today. Thank you guys for following along with me. If you like this kind of content, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next week. <laughs>